Hello, uh, my name is Niall Peppers. I am the art teacher at Westminster Special Schools and I'll be talking you through this video, accompanied by the music we listen to in class. This video is for parents and carers to support a range of students with varying needs and interests. Please feel free to just focus on the parts that you find useful. Thanks. Art, painting. This video gives guidance on how to support students' understanding of colour and material properties using paint. Painting, colour mixing. If you are concerned about mess, you can always place a vinyl tablecloth on the table or the floor. If you are giving a student an experience, it is important to highlight the sensory difference by spending enough time exploring the sensory elements between a dry, rough brush and then the wet brush when we add paint. When exploring paint, we always use colour mixing as a sensory outcome. We can do this simply by only using two of the three primary colours. When exploring colour, spend enough time on the individual colours, making handprints before giving enough paint to guarantee a colour mixing outcome. Here we are making purple with red and blue. We can support motivation using a choose sheet of familiar characters that are all in purple, orange or green costume. We can extend concentration and engagement by adding glue to sabotage the slippery texture of paint, making it sticky. When supporting students' grip of the paintbrush, always look for the easiest and most comfortable grip to encourage a visual attention to their hands. Here, the student has chosen green, again using a prompt sheet that showed a selection of characters. Here we are ensuring an intentional outcome that is generated by the student's choice. We are making green with blue and yellow. We can support restricted gross motor movement by moving the tray or supporting the student at the elbow. Where the student is more motivated by messy exploration, we can add glue to one colour and salt to the other, showing caution with students that mouth. The salt draws the water out of the glue and produces a strange texture which is excellent for student discovery and attention.
Here, the student has chosen orange, the third of the secondary colors. We are making orange with red and yellow. To support highly interactive students, it is a good idea to only put small amounts of paint in the paint palette to encourage communication and asking for more. Where students are more motivated by messy painting, we can explore texture by adding glue and salt. Thank you for watching this presentation.